As you can see, it is much, much later out. It's completely dark out. So I took out the Y pipe, and this is because I was scratching. The, it was it was gonna be impossible to get it out, to get the or to get the drive shaft in with the Y pipe in. So basically, what's wrong with um, the car is that the output shaft seal. So there's a seal that keeps the transmission fluid inside the transmission, which is obviously where you want it. Um, and the output shaft is where the power from the transmission goes into the drive shaft, which is obviously important. And the seal is kind of fucked. I'll show what it looks like in a sec, but um, I have a buddy coming. His channel is like House of Pain, him and his buddies. So they're gonna, he's gonna come by, he's gonna help me on the car because I've never done a output shaft seal before. So it's gonna be a first for me. And if I can even get my hands on the parts by then. This is the sad, sad part everybody fucking hates. So, the sh the seal did not go in. Um, I have it here. You know, it's the AutoZone special, but it should work, you know? Uh, Carlos picked it up for me. Super cool of him to do that. Uh, he was here helping me today. Um, him and his BRZ, which is sick as fuck, but... Um, basically, we exhausted every single option to get this thing in. I mean, we got some of the most random shit possible. We cut up the old drive shaft. Here's the old spline. We cut the shit in half. We... Look what we did to the old drive shaft. I mean, this shit is destroyed. The U-joint is destroyed. Um, the shit we did to try to get this in is absurd. Basically... This is the old one, or at least what's left of it. We took it to Harbor Freight, and we got some random ass shit for it, which I'll show in a sec. So these are the two things that we got. This is like a, a saw, like a whole saw type thing. Um, and this is like, I think like an Allen key type thing, but like the outside. So we tried to bang it in. Basically what we were doing was, we were taking this, we would put it on the outside, and then we would hammer the other side to get it in. and. This shit would not go in. Like, it makes no sense. It, it's from AutoZone. It's a Duralast um, seal. And, you know, looking at it right now, I looked on the website 
on AutoZone's website. There we go. So you can see it says automatic transmission oil pump seal. So the um, what's it called? The output shaft seal is supposed to be. I think it's almost identical to the uh, oil pump seal or you know like a rear main seal type thing. So that's why. But it says for auto transmission, and I have the manual. I did order another one from Z1, and it's coming tomorrow. But you know, I, I hate fucking sitting still and waiting for parts. It's the worst. It is the absolute worst. So um, I'm gonna try to beat the shit out of this one to try to get it in. Basically, what was happening is it just would not fit. Um, there's no videos, nothing on forums, like legitimately nothing. So it makes no sense. I don't understand. If it was so hard, and yet it's such an easy wear and tear product, why no videos? It is currently the next day. Um, like I said, the AutoZone um, output shaft seal did not work. So I ordered a new one from Z1, you know, like an OEM, OEM one. And one thing I noticed is that on the AutoZone website, um, it was listed as, I believe, automatic transmission oil pump seal, something like that. And I know that I know that output shaft seals, I think they're the same like material as what's in a rear main seal and that kind of thing. So that's probably why, but on the Z1 uh, website, it has options for manual and automatic. And the one that I ordered, which just came, which I will show you in a second, it looks a lot more like the one that I took out. The one that I took out, it had some kind of, I don't, uh, my buddy Carlos took it, so I don't have it anymore, but it had a, like a car, it had like a, a, a copper ring around it. Now, it didn't have this copper ring on the other seal. I'd take it out, but I have it in the fridge or actually the freezer just in case I have to use it so it shrinks a little bit. So this here is the new seal. Um, I showed the part number just before, but this is what I was talking about by the copper ring. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Um, I don't know if you see that kind of brown piece. I think that's like, I'm calling it the copper ring because it just looks like copper, but chances are it's a different type of metal. Um, it did not have this on the AutoZone one that I had, so I'm really, really, really hoping, and this is manual specific because I have a manual trans, um, so I'm just really, really hoping that this works. <music>
So everything's back together. Car's completely on the ground. Um, I'm super hyped. Now the last thing I'm gonna do, which let me just take my wheel off. The last thing I'm gonna do, I already disconnected my negative terminal on my battery, just in case, come on focus, okay. Just in case there was some kind of limp mode, um, hopefully it turned it off. I kind of did like a power on, power off thing, resetting the ECU. So what I'm gonna do right now is, let me get in here, I'm gonna read my codes with my OB2 scanner, clear them if there is any. Okay. So. Everything seems to power on, that's good. See, it should be OB2. reading codes right now. Zero codes. talking about oh let's go I'm so happy about that that is so awesome I don't see any leaks 